Okay guys, so I've got a really cool tool for you guys to take a look at today. Uh, we are gonna be looking at this 14 inch metal cutoff saw from the Beaver Company. Now I wanna give a big shout out and a huge thanks to the good folks over at Beaver for sending this unit out to me so I can test and review it for you guys today. So now right off the top, I am not a professional uh, metal fabricator uh, of any kind, <laughs> not, not even a little bit. Um, I am a, uh, a hobbyist and a beginner at best when it comes to uh, metal work. But I'm hoping to change that, and uh, I do like to dabble in, in modifying and fabricating things, and this is the kind of tool that I uh, have lacked and have needed, and I think it's going to take me to the next level when it comes to uh, making stuff and making cool things. So um, this is uh, basically a chop saw uh, for metal, and uh, I think it's kind of a, uh, a beginner um, necessity when it comes to, to metal fabrication. It, um, it is portable, and it is lightweight, and it is um, got a really nice price point. There will be a link in the description if you guys are in the market for a metal cutoff saw, uh, then I would seriously take a look at this as one of your options. So um, let's uh, take a closer look. So basically when the box showed up at my house, this is what I got. A really nicely packaged uh, box with um, no damage and uh, I had no missing pieces or parts. In fact, it's very simple. There's only three things that come in the box. A uh, instruction, ma uh, instruction manual, a uh, wrench for changing out the uh, blade, and the unit itself. It was all fully assembled and uh, did not require anything to do to put it together. So um, pretty simple. Okay, so basically what I want to do here is um, kind of just go over some of the uh, features on this uh, saw. It's, I think it's really cool, and for the price point it's at, it's, it's kind of chock full of uh, features and safety gizmos and, and cool things to make this thing happen uh, the way it needs to happen. So first of all, it's got a, a spark um, guide or uh, shield that works automatically and or you can just prop it up out of the way if it's not your style and don't want to use it or if it's uh, blocking your vision or whatever your deal is, you can use it or not. That's kind of cool. Um, it's a 14 inch disc uh, and it basically is just like a, I don't know what it's made of, like a fiber disc or whatever, just like a uh, um, kind of a uh, grinder wheel on a, on a small grinder. So, and I think it'll, it'll grind down and get smaller in diameter as you use it, just like a, a, anything you would grind metal with. Um, and you can see it's nice and light. I can pick it up and uh, move it around pretty easily. It's not, not a heavy unit at all, but it seems pretty stout at the same time. So really, really pretty cool. Now. Uh, it comes with a safety locked position, so it stays closed. That's accomplished by this safety chain. Uh, pretty neat. All you got to do is just release, push down and release the safety chain off of this little uh, included hook, and it comes up to fully working height. And you're ready to use it at this point. Pretty cool. Um, also, uh, it has a, uh, a depth setting uh, screw here so that it basically interrupts the saw as it comes down, and you can decide how far down you want the saw to go. I have it right now touching and bottoming out where that I've got about a quarter inch. Uh, I can almost get my finger underneath between the, the blade and the table um, so that it won't cut the table. If I was to uh, have this any lower or any, uh, any deeper, it would, this would cut into the table. So you kind of, I think you want to, as you're using it and as this blade shrinks, you want to kind of monitor where is your bottom height uh, at so that as the wheel shrinks, you can uh, screw down on this, um, this bolt and you'll be able to still get your full cuts made. So pretty sure that's how that works. Pretty cool. Um, it also comes with a safety switch button. If you just squeeze the trigger, nothing happens. And if you, so you have to push in the button and then squeeze the trigger and that makes the saw run. So also pretty cool. Um, it comes with uh, easily accessible brushes. Um, the, the manual states that you, you know, you need to keep an eye on the brushes. Uh, and um, if the, if the, if the brushes get to a, short enough to a, be on a um, acceptable limit you'll need to replace them and they're super easy a couple of large flathead screws and you can pop them right out top and bottom and stick new brushes in so that's nice and accessible pretty cool um, and we've got a small um, depressible uh, rod right here and this is just like on a skill saw or a circular saw where that you just push it in and you rotate the blade around until you get it to your locking position and now the blade can't rotate and then you take this handy little wrench that they provided, put that on the lock nut uh, for your blade, and you can remove the blade. So, and then once you're back on, you can release this, and you spin freely again. So that's pretty handy, real easy, and very accessible. Um, also, what we've got here is a fully adjustable miter gauge, and this is really cool. It's also got kind of a chain holding it in place, so you're not gonna lose it. And all you gotta do is just loosen it, lift up, rotate back, loosen it, lift up, rotate back, loosen it, rotate back, and 
same thing in reverse to tighten it. And super handy. It's just like having a little socket kind of built into it. But you're not going to accidentally, um, you know, knock it loose. It's nice and tight. So what I did was when I got the saw, there are numbers on here. There's little minor numbers, but I look at those more as a reference than anything really. Um, I stuck my speed square on here, lowered this down, and um, squared it up. So it's ready to make a cut, a 90 degree cut at this point. I'm pretty happy with that. Super easy. Loosen it up, rotate your miter, tighten it up. Um, and then I think finally, what we've got here is kind of a really nice uh, locking jaw. Uh, so you just tighten this thing down with this hand crank and it locks in your work to your, to your fence. And then you just loosen it and now your fence is loose. And if you've got a bigger piece, you just flip this lever back and you can now slide this back out of the way and get something in here that's you know a good, I don't know, five, five six inches uh, in, in depth. Pretty neat. And then when you're ready to put it back in, you just push it in, lock it, and then once this is locked, you can now thread this tight. So, you know, there's an invisible piece of metal in here right now, but this thing will go all the way tight, lock it down, and then, boom, I'm tight. Nothing's moving, everything's secure. Pretty handy, pretty easy to use. Um, so those are all the features that I see on the machine, and um, I kind of show, turn it around for you in kind of different angles so you can kind of see it. Uh, I like that you, you can use the automatic shield or get it out of the way. It is nice and portable. It's got nice rubber feet, so there's no sliding around. It doesn't doesn't wobble. It's nice and straight. It just feels like a really nice tool. Um, I'm I'm just super impressed. It's real aggressive. When you turn the motor on, you'll see it's it's no uh, it's no toy. So you're definitely going to want to use uh, safety glasses and gloves because whatever whatever you're grinding metal wise, it's going to get really hot. And if you're going to use this for any kind of period of time, I would definitely think about using some ear protection as well because it's it's pretty loud. It's it's uh it's no joke. This is a real this is a real serious tool. So. That is the tool that we're playing with today. So I think I'm going to get this thing set up and um, I've got some tube steel and a little bit of aluminum cylindrical stock that I can test for it uh, for you guys today. So um, let me get that set up and we'll give it a shot. Okay guys, so that was actually a lot of fun. Um, I had, was actually able to make stuff that I probably would never have been able to make otherwise without this really cool tool. So um, if you, as you guys saw, I was able to cut some aluminum cylindrical stock, uh, did a 90 degree cut on it, and that seemed to work out just fine. And then I stepped up to uh, a one inch tube steel uh, that uh, it also went through like butter and did uh, had no problems at all. 
Um, I made a straight cut on it and that seemed to work out okay. Now if you could, maybe you could see in the video uh, when I did the cutting, it kind of left little burrs on some of the edges and stuff and um, you know, wasn't like a perfect cut like you would if you were cutting a piece of wood. So I just took them over, all my cuts over to my um, uh, bench top um, uh, grinder and wire wheel and I just kind of cleaned them up and they look really nice now. And I was able to get a 45 cut on this short piece and a 45 cut on this long piece. And uh, I'll be darned, they kind of go together and make a pretty nice looking 90 degree angle that's ready to be tack welded and I guess made into some cool stuff. So uh, I'm super excited about that. I didn't have any issues, uh, a bit of a learning curve, uh, just getting to know it a little bit, but I haven't used one of these before. So uh, I am just super impressed. I have zero complaints. I think it's a great tool. It's nice and portable and lightweight. And um, you know, what you're seeing here in, in, in live time is uh, a beginner's journey into the world of fabrication. And I'm just super excited that I could bring you guys along uh, and show you this great tool while I'm, while I'm on this journey. So pretty cool. Uh, I'm very happy with it, especially at the price point they're offering it at. There will be a link in the description if you guys are interested. If you're in the market for a metal cutoff saw and you need something as portable and lightweight and um, kind of a hobbyist beginner tool like myself, uh, this thing fits the bill perfectly. I, I think it's uh, a really good tool and I would suggest it to, to anybody that's in the market. So um, I think that's about it for today. Uh, you know, um, very happy. Don't, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.